Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change your World of Warcraft's realm list in order to play, play on private servers. First off, you might have a shortcut to tune for the game. I'm going to show both ways. Uh, first off, when you have a desktop shortcut like old school Windows, like Windows XP and so on, you right click on it, you click properties, open file location. You'll find a folder. Okay. Another way to do it if you have pinned it on your taskbar is right click on it. You right click on this shortcut and hit properties here. You get to the same window, hit file open file location. Okay. If in in this folder you sh you see some folders and uh, wow.exe. You might not see that .exe extension. I have it enabled in the tools, folder options view and I have unticked that. So you can see this exe ex extension. Anyways, uh, there should be a folder called data. It has a capital D. You open that and there's some more stuff. You have some mpq files and a folder that has four let letters in its name. I have enus. You open that and you, sh you should encounter a file called realmlist.wtf. You right click on it. Then you can select open with and choose default program. You untick this always used to select a program to open this kind of file. You select notepad. In my case it doesn't make a difference. It always opens notepad++. And what you find is a file. If you try to edit it and save it, nothing happens. I can't even edit it because notepad++ prevents editing read-only files. So I'm going out of this. And th now the problem is how to make it editable. Well, it's pretty easy. You right click on the file, select properties, and you find, oh, read only, of course. And uh, that's not it, actually. Many people just untick that and, oh, well, I can edit it now. No, you can't. Uh, in most cases, of course. In case you're an administrator user and have user account control disabled, you can always edit it, no problem, because this group has all the permissions. So does the system and authenticated users. Even though in authenticated users you might not have the powers, so but users don't have it. So you click on edit the permissions, you select the users group and tick the modify. It automatically ticks writing. So uh, it's also, you, while you're at it, you may just tick the authenticated users as well to allow. So you hit OK. You see those ticks are a bit darker. And hit OK here. So when, when you now open it, you should be able to edit it. What you want to do is select all of that and clear it. Nothing here. So now what you want to do is open up the web browser. Go to the home page of the server you wish to play on. Find the browse the site you find realmlist from there somewhere, and you find realmlist on their site. Uh, you paste it and make sure that it's 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 better to it's better practice to make sure that there's no second line here, there's no space trailing it or before the whole damn thing, and there's spaces be between here and here. So, you save it, it's saved, and many servers, of course, don't have this IP here, they have like server.wow.com, uh, but we don't have that, we have an IP. Uh, once it's saved, you should be able to just open your shortcut and play. game looks a bit different but it doesn't matter it just works and there you go